I'm excited to say I'm joined by Joy Hazelden. She competes in wheelchair basketball and she is a level two award winner at the ESPS evening this evening. So Joy, first of all, how is this award going to help you and, and, and your goals? Um, I guess it's going to help me in terms of getting to a training venue. So we get a thousand pounds on the level two award. That's going to help me get to training venues, buy sports equipment um, and yeah, and just buy more kit and that. In terms of your training, you're part of the Great British Wheelchair Team uh, set up which trains EIS in, in, in Sheffield. Just talk us through the, 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 the training schedule and trying to juggle both sport and also your degree as well. Yeah, it's um, very hectic at times. Um, so, um, so the department, my department is quite flexible with me um, missing, tra missing like one lecture to um, go to a team training session. Team training sessions are really important for the whole squad. Um, and yeah, we train every day, um, do three gym sessions a week. And yeah. And just tell us about your story, because it's a, quite a remarkable story. Um, you were born in China, then you moved over to England. Just explain about the tr moving from China to England, please. Yeah, um, so I was born in China. Um, where, yeah, um, so my adopted parents went to China when I was about one, um, but it took and they knew they wanted to adopt us, um, but it took them forever for the paperwork to um, go through the government and that, because it wasn't just me, it was my sister as well. No, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so then by that time I was six, so that's when everything went through um, and all of that. And, and we flew over to England and that's, and yeah, that's it really. And then when you moved to England, just talk about through us how you started wh wheelchair basketball. Um, so, my secondary school didn't really have very good PE facilities, um, so my dad wanted to uh, go find something for uh, me to do to get active in that. So he found a local wheelchair basketball club where, yeah, where we just started and trained in there. Yeah. And what was it that wheelchair basketball that you really enjoy? Because you've excelled since. Yeah, um, I think what I like most is about the team aspect. Um, I like that they can encourage you, help you, um, and. They're just there for you when you need it. I also like the aspect of that it's quite fast and you have to think on your toes and you have to react quite quickly and perform under pressure. And you've been part of the Great Britain team now for quite a long time. Uh, yes, I have. I've been on the team for about four years now. Um, yeah. And perhaps one of the most memorable moments was last summer in, in Rio, competing in the Paralympic Games. Just explain what it was like competing at a, a Paralympic Games. Oh, it was... Um, it was surreal, really. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, like, especially when we played against the Brazilian team, which is our home team. Um, it was just crazy. There was loads of support there. And yeah, very, very good. And in terms of the results itself, fourth as well, what was it like playing, as you said, against Brazil? You lost to the United States in the semi-final and then lost, unfortunately, in the bronze medal match to, to, to the Netherlands. In terms of the atmosphere and playing, in those sort of games, it must have been what, what you've uh, dread dreamt of. Uh, yeah, definitely. I didn't really think about it in the moment because you kind of you just kind of just get stuck in and just do your job, and yeah. Um, but yeah, those two games were a little bit, kind of bit sad. But I think it kind of motivates motivates me now to perform better in the future. And that's the thing you've, you said. What are your like your Goals coming up, obviously Tokyo is perhaps a long-term goal, but in terms of what's coming up over the next three or so years, what, what sort of targets have you set? Uh, so we have the World Championships in August um, in Germany next year, um, and the team is looking for a medal there. We're trying to get on the podium so we can develop our team. In terms of next week, it is the, the, this girl can run by uh, the University of Sheffield Students Union Sports Officer Flo Brooks. What message would you give to girls who are perhaps hesitant about tr trying sport, about giving sport a go next week? I guess just try anything and try and just um, just have fun while you're doing it because, like, if you're having fun, then it, time just um, flies by. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. And what, in terms of what, you, what you've got out of sport, what, what exactly have you got out of it in terms of the skills that you've gained? Um, it's definitely made me into a more confident person. Before I was really, really shy and I wouldn't really get involved with things and now I'm a bit more confident, uh, more outgoing. Um, and yeah, I've been able to make some fantastic friends and that through it. 
then after Christmas in February, it's the We Are Able um, c c campaign. What does We Are Able um, mean to you? Um, I guess like you're able to do anything. Um, if you put your mind to it, you can just do anything you want.